Hey, here we are uh, in Sofia Tremolos, here in the Sofia Hills, the Hollywood Hills here in sunny California. It's a beautiful sunny day. And we have a Charvel here that we were working with uh, that we had favored a lot. It's a really nice stock guitar from uh, a couple years ago. Uh, we did some videos on it with using the stock Floyd that it comes with. We're going to take the Floyd off and put on a Global Tuner Pro. We have a new fixed version 2 that we're probably going to put on here. Set it up, do some more film footage um, to give you a select expression. And I think at the end we'll plan to have a Sophia back on it. And you can see three selections. Uh, we're about to take the Floyd off and do the upgrade. So on um, the Floyd Rose Tremolo, I'm removing the four inner saddles um, to reveal the three screws that attach the base plate to the spring block. And I have to pull these off in order to access those screws. On the Sophia, we have a similar arrangement. Three screws taking up the inner four. It's the same spacing as the vintage spacing on this, so the blocks are interchangeable. So by taking the inner four off, I can accept, access this and swap the blocks out. So here, uh, what I'm checking now is whether the, where these pins need to be. So that's level. That's where the base plate is level with the body and 90 degrees to the riser post, and that's optimal. And that's where you want to set your pins so they're hitting the body at the right place. So I think I need to retract it a little bit more, and it's right about there. It seems to sit correctly and the base plate's correct. This is our new version. This is called the Global Tuner V2. And they come with a fixed pins in three different sizes. There's a short for a fender, um, a medium one for most vintage uh, double locking tremolos, and modern things like pockets like this have an extra extension, and we have this size as well. And then we have a four size if you ever need it but we have you covered. It's a super setup, easy setup to do because you just dial it in until it's exactly correct and you're done. Just leave a little bit of a gap wherever it turns out to be. I'm gonna finish putting the springs on and string it up. So we have some new copper springs here. It's a little thick on the copper. It's to cut down electrical noise and the clacking of regular springs, but they press right in and it's a nice tight fit. Pretty happy with them this time. And so we're just gonna string this up. Okay, so uh, we finally got um, the Floyd back in, and as you can see, there's a Global Tuner Pro set up in there. We use the 2.5 length pins because the size of the tremolo pocket Charvel uses is larger than many other companies are using. So you get lots of range with this. Setting up stock recess, here's an open G, G, G. Nice sharp G. The G doesn't go sharp here.
It's up there. It's about a flat five. So that's a stock setup, and it's only limited basically by the amount of wood of underneath this. So if you had taken out a little bit more wood, you can get to a fifth pretty easily. And that's right out of the box. It really depends on your guitar. The upward range for these are phenomenal. Thanks again. We'll have um, a follow-up video on this, uh, comparing this to this and the original block, which if you notice is a 32 millimeter size. So if you had a guitar like this, you could see the 32 and then let's order a 32 millimeter Global Tuner Pro. They come in 32, 34, 37, 42. 42 being uh, for the thick bodies or the original uh, series that sat above the body. This is a recessed body, so it has a smaller spring block. And we carry all those. And then sizes 32 and 34 for the Asian versions. Um, these screw holes are a little different. Okay, well, thank you from Sophia Hills. We really love this guitar. It's been a lot of fun, and we look forward to the video. Until then.